I'm Christine Berger, a resident of Rhode Island. I oppose any permit to build a medical waste paralysis facility in Rhode Island. These facilities are designed specifically for their feedstock and to generate specific products. But what exactly is in these sealed containers that will be brought in by the truckload? And please imagine, envision in your mind what 70 tons a day looks like. They will then be shredded and heated on site. Paralysis plants are, that are not properly designed for their feedstock are harmful to the environment. Rhode Islanders will have no control or even knowledge of what the hazardous waste imported into her towns every day will be. And why should Rhode Island be a test site for such a potentially dangerous, polluting, untested experimental technology? The applicant has thus far been unable to prove that treating medical waste with paralysis is safe for human health and for the environment in our ocean state. I am concerned about the emissions that will leach into the surface water, into the water table, or bioaccumulate in our plants and our animals. Please think of the dangers posed to those who live, work, and go to school in the properties immediately abutting the facility we are discussing. We do not want this in Rhode Island. I respectfully request DEM to not grant the solid waste permit. Thank you.